my name is Sean Park. I'm South Korean urologist. Uh, my field of interest is a sexual medicine. So I had my residency in South Korea and get my urology board in South Korea as well. After that, I went to U.S. for further training of the prosthetic urology, especially penile implant. It was a surgery for the sexual dysfunction, male sexual dysfunction. So after getting my train, I came back to South Korea and started my own practice. Currently, I'm the director of my own practice. After starting my practice, uh, originally I was uh, only focusing on the male sexual dysfunction, but I traveled other countries to learn more of the sexual medicine. Uh, throughout that, my field of interest got more uh, bigger and bigger than before, which is the sexual medicine itself. So I went to several countries, including Australia, Spain, Brazil, and uh, Middle Eastern countries and many other countries. But most importantly, where I went, where I was very impressed was uh, uh, andrology practices in uh, UK. Uh, it was a UCLH, uh, a University College of the London. It was an uh, andrology practice uh, run by uh, Sir David Rolfe. At there, I was able to get trained with the transsexual surgeries and uh, their practice toward the gay men and uh, as, well, sexual medicine, you know, practice overall to the general population itself. So with all those, you know, I was very impressed with the uh, how we should provide our society with the sexual medicine. And especially for the uh, STD, STI uh, diseases itself as well. So I started to, the, uh, to set more services toward uh, international patients after that. And somehow, currently, 70 to 80 percent of my outpatients are not Korean. They are uh, English speakers from other countries, U.S. or uh, U.K., Europe, Australia, and all the other countries around. Uh, we have a full-time in-house uh, U.S. authentic native speaker with us. Uh, Ted Hui is working with us currently, and uh, he's providing a uh, uh, perfect job <laughs> to speak. So I'm not native, but uh, he's a native, so he will be able to uh, deliver better information. That's what I thought. So after uh, we were having more international patients, uh, I started to think about what about other languages? We are very next to the China, so uh, currently we have an uh, authentic Chinese uh, crew with us. He uh, speaks uh, perfect Mandarin, so he will be able to help further with the uh, Chinese patients as well. When it comes to the uh, sexual medicine, it's uh, how I say uh, intimacy or uh, better communication, I believe, is very important because it's such a delicate and a private matter to one of each of us. So I wanted to provide better service in terms of that.